You've probably heard a lot about how much you can earn in health informatics, but what are the best high paying jobs for you? Health informatics is a rapidly growing field with many opportunities for those looking to enter the workforce. In this video, we'll discuss the top 10 highest paying health informatics jobs. If you're a student or just a job seeker trying to figure out what to do with your life, then this video is for you. We'll take a look at each of these careers and get into some detail about what each one entails. We'll also list the average salaries for each position so you can determine what kind of money you'll make as a health informatics professional. But before starting off with the video, do be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. Now let's get started. Here's a list of the top highest paying jobs in health informatics for a bachelor's and master's degree. So here comes number 10, Nursing Informatics Specialists. Specialists in nursing informatics combine their knowledge of nursing with that of health informatics to direct technical and database solutions toward addressing the needs of nurses. In most cases, nurse informatics experts have bachelor's degrees in nursing and qualifications to practice as registered nurses. In addition, they typically have master's degrees in informatics. Because of their dual training, they can effectively explain the needs of nurses to the programmers and developers responsible for developing more effective data management systems. Nursing informatics professionals are also responsible for identifying potential uses for software and technology that will improve patient care and streamline nursing procedures. A nursing informatics specialist's salary ranges from $79,000 to $87,000 per year. Number 9. Clinical Informatics Specialist Clinical informaticists work in hospitals and clinics and their duties can change depending on the organization's size or kind. A clinical informaticist's duty may expand in a smaller healthcare setting to include collecting, organizing, and managing patient data and providing that data to all parties in the healthcare delivery chain. However, in a bigger organization, the clinical informaticist may also be responsible for training a group of other clinical informaticists in properly using the systems and incorporating IT into the medical faculty. In a larger organization, other informaticists may also assist with these tasks. The salary of a clinical informatics specialist can range from up to $85,000 to $145,000 yearly. Number 8. Informatics Specialists Informatics specialists often work within a healthcare organization to assist that organization in accomplishing its goals regarding patient care and treatment. They ensure that the IT systems are operating correctly and collect data to determine the facility's fundamental level of performance. The informatics specialist monitors data to assess the organization's progress as it implements change. For example, a hospital may aim to shorten the typical length of stay for a certain group of patients. As medical professionals try out a variety of treatments, an informatics specialist will determine which of these treatments led to the most significant shortening of the length of a patient's hospital stay. The salary of a health informatics specialist ranges from $87,115 to $115,000 per year. Number 7. Healthcare IT Project Manager it's the responsibility of the healthcare IT project managers to coordinate the human and system resources that are required to make modifications to clinical systems. Due to the rapid pace at which health informatics technology is advancing, there's already a need to integrate vendor updates and implement new modules. Health IT project managers are responsible for ensuring that these activities are carried out without disrupting the normal operations of the hospital in any way. They come up with ideas for how to get things done, provide suggestions for how to get tasks completed, and keep an eye on progress as it's made through to completion. Because of their knowledge, updates to ID infrastructure may be implemented with hardly any disruption, mistakes, or delays. The average salary of a healthcare project manager typically lies between $94,000 to $133,000. Number 6. EHR Project Implementation Manager the Electronic Health Record Project Implementation Manager directs and controls the overall project. This person oversees the development and completion of EHR software-related projects. 
the Electronic Health Record Project Implementation Manager establishes and sustains positive relationships with project team members, vendors, and other stakeholders. He or she schedules tasks, assigns individuals to those tasks, and keeps track of and reports on progress made on the project. The Electronic Health Record Implementation Manager also generates progress reports. To pursue a career, you need a bachelor's degree. You're expected to report to a manager or the department head and have certification in EPIC, Cerner, or a similar project. The duties of an electronic health record project implementation manager are both individual and team-based. You may also have to contribute to a project's fairly complex parts with other teammates. The average employer hiring an electronic health record project implementation manager prefers an experienced candidate with years of relevant work experience. The EHR Project Implementation Manager gets paid almost $95,000 to $123,000 every year. Number 5. Clinical Informatics Manager The goal of any hospital's infrastructure is to provide optimal care for patients. The Clinical Informatics Manager is responsible for ensuring this goal is met by facilitating data sharing and verifying the reliability of the information obtained. In addition, a clinical informatics manager makes sure that everything is in line with local, state, and federal regulations. In a nutshell, they create the IT, CS, and IM strategies that fuel progress in these areas. These responsibilities may be delegated to a clinical informatics manager responsible for an entire healthcare facility or practice. The salary of clinical informatics in U.S. countries ranges from $107,000 to $150,000. Number 4. Informatics Educator The role of the informatics educator is to bridge the gap in expertise between ID specialists and medical personnel. Educators in the field of informatics spend their days on the wards instructing medical professionals and take part in IT teams so they can share their extensive understanding of clinical systems and user interfaces. Clinical practitioners or technologists with extensive experience in a clinical context could serve as educators. The informatics educator can charge from $61 to $70 per hour and can easily make around $150,000 per year. Number 3. Informatics Director Informatics directors use the significant administrative knowledge they have to ensure that the information technology systems utilized by healthcare organizations are both up-to-date and completely effective. They identify areas in which information technology could make administrative and patient care procedures more straightforward or accelerate them. Informatics directors utilize the feedback provided by healthcare providers and other administrators to improve data collection and invest in new informatics technology. The salary of an informatics director falls between $157,000 to $195,000 annually. Number 2. Health Informatics Consultants Health informatics consultants advise medical facilities and clinics on any concerns about using electronic medical records or informatics procedures. They can assist with the organization, maintenance, and improvement of existing informatics systems as well as provide technology solutions to problems that healthcare providers are experiencing. Health informatics consultants can conduct audits of IT processes to check for regulatory compliance. Alternatively, they may engage directly with medical professionals to evaluate their training and education requirements. Number 1. Chief Information Officer The Chief Medical Information Officer is accountable for ensuring that the information management team of each department operates as smoothly and effectively as possible. The Chief Medical Information Officer is also responsible for ensuring that patients receive the best possible treatment level. In addition, they're accountable for daily analysis designing software programs and various activities related to information technology governance. Although some are employed in government or academic jobs, most are in hospitals. They have the final say in general technology strategy of the organization. The salary of a chief medical officer is upwards of $250,000 to $420,000 per year, not including perks of a C-suite executive, so we can definitely count this job as the highest paying job in healthcare informatics. So there you have it guys. If you want to get into these careers and make some good money out of it, keep an eye out for these positions when applying.
With the right training and experience, you can land a well-paying job in this growing field. And with that, we think it's time to say goodbye. But before heading out, do be sure to subscribe to our channel as well as like the video to throw your support and love our way. Hit the bell icon so you never miss out on the latest updates from our channel. Comment down your feedback and thoughts about these career opportunities and jobs. We look forward to your comments and we'll try to reply to them all.